Hello YouTubers, Knife Detector here, and I wanted to share this recent acquisition with you. And um, as you all know, I like buck knives, and um, I happened to get one fresh off of eBay recently, and it is mostly new in the box, and I wanted to share this with you. You will also notice that I'm not wearing my safety gloves today. And uh, the reason for that is I'm probably going to wear them with the smaller knives that I have to kind of open and really dig in there to get and close and with the smaller blades, you know, um, since I had a couple of mishaps. But I think I'm okay with these larger, chunkier knives. I guess we'll find out. So um, I wanted to show you this one, and it's in the box. So this is kind of going to be like an unboxing. Let's see what we have. And what we're looking at here is a buck... 395 Omni Hunter. Now, the first thing that I notice when I see this is that um, I like to wear it like this. And if it were right handed on my belt, I'd pull this out and then take the knife out. And you can see there, it's a good looking knife. But if I were to wear it that way, the buck is actually spelled backwards. So let's say I wear it on the left side of, uh, of my waist. And I wear it like this, this way, the buck would be correct, but when I pull out the knife, it would be backwards. I suppose I could flip it open uh, just like that, but um, I don't know. I'm probably still going to wear it sideways. And the reason for that is because you can wear this side draw or you can wear this regular. So I think it's that little detail that kind of throws me off a little bit, but uh, not a big deal. So in any case, I'm going to set that aside and we're going to show you this awesome knife. Now, the first thing I notice is the weight. It's a nice weight. It's not too heavy, not too light. It weighs probably, if I had to guess, maybe a couple of grams less than a buck 112. And um, it's a uh, thick steel. You got this, these um, indentations here. I believe it's called jimping, I think, in there uh, so that you can get a good grip on the blade. Um, as you can see, it is a good looking blade. I really like the style of this blade. It seems to have a very nice edge on it. I really like the handle. So when you're cutting something, you can really pull like that. Um, you can get a really good grip on this knife. Very happy with it so far. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm very happy with this knife. Now, Buck does make a larger one. I believe it's called the 397. I think that's like a five inch model. This one's closer to about a four inch model, I believe. And uh, the handle looks like it's a high impact plastic type of handle. Let's see what else is in the box. I think there's not much else except uh, that warranty paper that Buck puts in there. Yeah, Buck Famous Forever Warranty is in there. Yeah, so um, yeah, a message from Buck. And I think they put that in all of their knives as well. So, very happy with this knife, guys. I just wanted to share that one with you. Um, wow, this is a versatile knife. Uh, it looks to me like you can use this as a utility knife. You can use this to cut your steak. You can use this to go hunting. You can use this for skinning. I love that uh, subtle drop point blade right there. It's just a subtle drop, not too extreme. And a very good grip on this knife. Very sturdy. Um, no uh, wobble to speak of any which way. So very happy with this. Can't wait to sport this little bad boy out. Wanted to share that with you. I hope you guys are having a fantastic beginning of the week. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Uh, please share. And as always, uh, God bless you and stay sharp.